Mom? Mom? Where are you? Mom? Mom? Oh, my room? Hello everybody and welcome back to Cry of Fear. So last we left, we are in Simon's hometown of Kirkville, I guess. Oh. Hmm, someone just left a shotgun. I'm sure this isn't actually his hometown. Can't go into any of the houses, can I? No. Maybe this one. No. The shotgun doesn't really have any ammo. I'm actually quite low on ammo. Revolver rounds. Oh crap, I shouldn't have done that. I haven't even found the revolver. I'm not low health, but I'll keep that in mind that that's there. Oh no. Well, now I'm low health. I can't even see that guy properly. Okay. I can't tell if these syringes have been lowering my health constantly or not. I feel like they have. Okay, I've only got a couple of shots. I think it's safe to say that we can't use any of these doors. Oh my god, I'm reload. What? They just run at me and die? I didn't know that. I don't think I shot him. Okay. It's a cool area. It's kind of creepy. Ooh. Okay, we're gonna drop this pistol. It kind of sucks. This is way better. Me likey. There should have been a pistol here. Cause I got a guy. That was so dark. Oh, I think we got. Oh, I knew they were gonna do that to me. <laughs> of course, there's a syringe right there. Was that a guy over there? Looks like it. Keep getting revolver rounds without having the revolver. Ah. 
Oh my god, where'd you come from? Jesus. E three four five mag. I don't have that. Always try for more items. It sucks I can't carry everything. Three or four shots left. Who's that? The bed demon. They take a few shots, don't they? Not used to sensitivity. The bed demons are so weird. Okay, another syringe. Oh. <laughs> Almost out of bullets for this. it starts so dark pretty curious to find out what's going on with Simon Basically seems like he had issues, you know, mental issues. Went to go see a doctor. Doctor told him to try this cognitive um, therapy or something. I think that's what this is. This is more of a nightmare. It's not a therapy. Certainly loaded on ammo. Where's the enemies? Whoa. Finally home. Oh. I hope mom's okay. Is it my house? I don't think mom's okay. Is mine the red one? Mama? so desperate finally in my own house well, there's a save point I don't think I don't think this is gonna end well for Simon or anything. Oh, my room? Is that a Coca-Cola? Oh. Diary. Oh. Wait. 
You didn't shoot your mom, did you? Oh, that's himself. What? Simon's in a wheelchair? I'm in the wheelchair. What? What the hell is that? I'm trying not to wheel off here. Eyes and hands. We'll shoot them? No. Oh, Simon, what have you done? Oh, he's been injuring himself? Well, our boy Simon has some, uh, some issues, maybe. I'm not too sure what that's supposed to represent. But we're... Oh, that's myself. We're not hurting each other. Or I think I think he did hurt me. If we are going to go shoot our mom after writing something in the diary. Oh my. Okay, he is hurting me. This is interesting, but strange. Okay, I'm almost dead. Oh. It'd be a pretty big twist if this whole time Simon has been in a wheelchair and he can't walk. That would definitely confirm this whole thing is some weird nightmare. Where he dreamt he was powerful or something. What the f <laughs> Oh my god. Damage. 
better if you like. Has no machine gun. I'm not gonna reload. Not supposed to happen. What? Doctors testified that I was having a psychosis. Which means that my punishment won't be too hard for me to bear. I have to spend the rest of my life in a mental hospital where nurses and doctors are taking care of me. They let me finish my book, and uh, it has helped me a lot. I wrote a happy ending, just for myself. I feel better now. I am more at peace with myself, even though I'm still stuck in this wheelchair. But uh, I accept that now. I can never forgive myself for shooting those two officers, though. But I have so many supportive people around me now, so... I, I think I will be okay. Dr. Purnell is mentoring me and is watching my progress. I am lucky to have him. Sophie visits me every once in a while. What? Really? When the doctors let her, that is... They still think her visits are too destabilizing for me and that it hinders my progress. I keep on telling her how sorry I am for making her life miserable every time she's here. She, ju she just laughs a bit and tells me to stop being so silly. But I can see the damage I've done to her in her eyes every time she looks at me. She found a new friend. One who is there for her and treats her right. I'm happy for her. Though... I'll miss the good moments we've had, knowing that they'll never come back. I think this is a good time to close this book. It has changed my life forever. The end. What the hell? Huh? Andreas Ronenberg. Why are we in a wheelchair? Why do we shoot the cops? Where's our mom? Huh? I think I gotta look up the store to understand it better. For such an old game, I would definitely put it up there with one of the better horror games. Especially horror shooter games. Pretty uber scary. But also a confusing game. It... So, uh, from the... I think the memories that we uncover... Are real. 
that our Simon was dealing with depression and all that. He went to a doctor to undergo some sort of treatment. But what put Simon in a wheelchair? Credits are reversed. confused why he shot the officers and why he was in a wheelchair. I need to know. Unlock mod DB hoodie. Excellent. Unlock suit afraid of monsters. Sick Simon suit. Developer commentary. A secret package? Oh, that's probably the revolver. Nightmare mode. Book page one. Book page four. Book page. Unlockables. What the hell's the hidden package? Pages. Beat the doctor mode. Ending four. Secret weapon. Beat any ending in nightmare mode. Secret weapon. Unlock the room in heaven when delivered the package. Yeah, there's lots of secret endings. Or secret weapons. Okay, well, let me look up the story real quick. All right, I'm going to read the plot. Let's see. The story begins in a dark and gloomy city in Sweden, with Simon waking up in an alley after a car strikes him as he is trying to help an injured man. Oh, that's probably why he's in a wheelchair. Okay, so the car strike was real. I think. Waking up in an alley, Simon tries to make his way home, but deformed monsters attack him. After failing to call the police, Simon receives a text from a man pleading for help. When he enters and searches an apartment block, he finds the man dead in his bathtub. Progressing further, as the apartment building slowly grows more run down, and eventually covered in blood, a monster attacks him with a chainsaw that decapitates itself upon defeat, prompting Simon to vomit and pass out. He wakes up near a cryptic and violent doctor 
who says he cannot trust Simon. After exploring the city and facing threats along the way, he finds Sophie, his childhood friend and love interest, on a rooftop. Simon attempts to confess his love to her, but she rejects his advances and commits suicide by jumping off the roof. A monster known as Carcass appears, giving Simon the choice to either kill it or flee from it back into the building. Interesting. Simon continues on his journey home, attempting and failing to enter a subway station because he lacks a fuse. He goes to a nearby college to collect a fuse, however monsters ambush him upon finding it. Simon escapes to the station and enters it successfully where he, once again, encounters the doctor directly after he has murdered someone and gives chase where his progress is blocked by a door needing two more fuses. Simon enters the previously chained up apartment after a long hallway where he hears a doctor describing an encounter with his patient and being attacked yet again, finds the fuses. While attempting to retrieve the fuses again to open a gate for a train, he enters another nightmare where he is chased through a maze by monsters hanging from the ceiling, escaping through a door that opens back up to a completely different hallway. Boarding the train, Simon is attacked by monsters yet again, and the train eventually crashes and derails, causing him to lose all of his belongings. As it is about to fall off a cliff, Simon escapes narrowly and finds himself in a dark forest. Deep in the forest, Simon discovers an asylum as the doctor enters. Simon finds the doctor behind a gate where the doctor orders him to hand him a new gun in exchange for letting him pass. Simon can either oblige or refuse, but regardless, the doctor ends up betraying Simon and shoots him with a great penalty to maximum health if Simon complied. Simon eventually kills the doctor after a gunfight. Simon leaves the forest and rows through a lake to his hometown. He finally reaches his house and expects his mother to be waiting for him, but the house is empty. He enters his bedroom and finds a book. Through a flashback, the player finds out that the entire story was a figment of Simon's imagination. After the car crash, Simon had become reliant on a wheelchair. Depressed, his therapist, who was the doctor in the game, advised him to document his feelings in a book. The character controlled throughout the game was a concocted version of Simon, and all the monsters represented the trauma in his mind. Cry of Fear has five different endings depending on the player's choices. Alternatively, if you finish the game at least once before and place a mysterious package addressed to Simon in a mailbox, I think we saw that mailbox and I didn't know what to put in it. I don't remember where it was though. He arrives home to find it delivered. Opening it up to find pills, he takes them and ends up in a location from the team's previous game. Afraid of monsters. At the end, he is hit by a car driven by Afraid of Monsters protagonist David Leatherhoff, revealed to be the one who hit Simon prior to the game. David, who still uses a lower quality model and talks entirely in text, apologizes to Simon, admits to being stoned, and flees the scene as Simon angrily yells for him to come back. Oh, so that's a little... Easter egg, I suppose. I went ahead and found footage of the other endings so we can uh, get the whole story. Let's watch the other endings. Doctor found dead. Dear diary, this is it. I have ended my miserable life. I couldn't take this shit anymore. Being trapped in a wheelchair for the rest of my damn life is just not worth it. The surgeons told me everything would be okay. They gave me hope. Only to 
crush it under the soles of their feet and watch me destroy myself. Good voice acting by this guy. They lied to me! They didn't know what it felt like! I thought I could handle my emotions. Control them. Contain them. Prove them all wrong. Hmm. But I was just too weak. I let it slip through my Oh, fingers. I think that was Sophie in the bathtub. Out of my grip. This is the ending. It poisoned me. It clouded my mind. They didn't know anything. They only feel the cold touch of their knives. They gave me antidepressants. It helped me think clearly, to see things through. I took a couple of extra pills this afternoon. They showed me what I had to do in this short moment of clarity. They showed me that there was no one and nothing worth living for! They showed me how fake Sophie and my doctor were. How they were laughing at me behind their masks when I wasn't looking. Laughing at me, my legs, thinking that they are so good that they're better than me. Mm. Pretending that they care about me. It's all bullshit! The pills showed me the truth today. They always did. They opened my eyes. They gave me wisdom. And I acted upon it. So, I had to kill Sophie and my doctor. <laughs> my mentor. My counselor. <laughs> I had to take them down with me. They're not laughing anymore. Oh. <laughs> Oh, I wish I could have taken everybody with me. But unfortunately, my situation makes that impossible. To whoever is reading this, I hope my dead body will haunt you forever. Have fun scraping my brains off the wall. Fuck you! Okay, so that was one of the bad endings where the player or Simon kills the doctor and Sophie and then himself. What's this ending? Ruth hit by car. To whoever is reading this. Oh, he shot himself. I'm hopefully dead. I just couldn't live this life anymore. He's depressed, yeah. My paralyzed legs made me worthless. He takes pills And I depression. felt like an outsider ever since the accident. Anxiety and depression controlled my life. And there was no way out of this bottomless pit. My friends looked right past me. My family abandoned me. Nobody wants a cripple. Especially one that would need your help. You still kill Sophie. Fucking worthless. No, didn't kill the doctor. The didn't only person the that ever tried to help me was my doctor. He tried. A lot. He is the only reason this book exists. Writing it has helped me put things into perspective, I think. But in the end, it hasn't really changed anything for me. I still felt like shit. I was still all alone in solitude. Pernell, if you're reading this, I'm sorry. There were no choices left. I made up my mind. Not everyone can be saved. I had to end my life, and I had to take my special person with me, Sophie. Mm, never gets to have Sophie, I does wanted he? to keep her with me. I wanted to keep her all for myself. 
I hope her body is rotting away when you find her. Jeez. This is my conclusion. This is my end. Farewell, everyone. Hmm. Entering the mind of Simon was not an easy undertaking to start. This is the doctor's story. Wading through the arcane creations that his book has summoned was a nightmare I will never be able to grasp. But I made it. I managed to destroy his creations in their passage. The book. Hmm. I think you you can play as the doctor, I think. And then that's the doctor's ending. This is co-op mode. There's a co-op mode ending. Waging battle against the dreadful demons of Simon's book was, without a doubt, one of the most horrifying experiences we ever encountered. But somehow, we survived it by working together. We managed to stop Simon by cutting off a chain of events that would have led to a sorrowful destiny. Hmm. This is a secret ending. What the hell? Ooh. That's trippy. <laughs> David, are you okay? What the fuck? You... Why? Sorry, man. I'm fucking stoned. Oh, you're gonna regret this. You're gonna regret this big time! <laughs> oh, shit. Come back here! Come back! Oh. There's one more ending. So there's one more ending, basically called Chapter 8, My Life Ends Here, the sick Simon ending. This is... this guy does it. I don't think I can trust you. I won't give you the gun. You don't give the doctor the gun? Crazy bastard! I'll kill you! Still shoots you. And then after that, he fights the doctor. Defeat him. And then something else happens. Simon, the pills by itself won't make you feel better. You have uh, to do something I didn't even better. notice. He's in a wheelchair right now. I recommend that you try a new modern treatment called cognitive therapy. What's that? Well, it's a set of exercises you do. A way to forget the past. All the bad memories and anxiety you have. Are you interested in books, Simon? I don't know. Why? Mm, there was a clue. Right. I just wanted to find out, because I want you to try out something. I want you to write a book, a book about how you feel. Do you think you can do that? I guess so. I can try. This next part... Something changes. Oh, he got the magnum here. Okay, yeah, what's this? Alright, so we go home, he finds the book. We did that. Yeah. 
this will be different. cool for this game. This game's so old. Whoa. This is the final, final ending. That is cool. Chapter, you're playing as Book Simon for the last time. Right after a real Simon shoots himself. background music. I think Book Simon is going to confront Real Simon and the two converge. Real Simon's behind some bars. Destroyed, my dude. Hmm. Drop the valve. Got these four valves, I guess. Where's the last valve? Bars open. And book Simon attacks real Simon. I 
think this is supposed to be what's happening in Simon's mind. In his last... Last few seconds. Last few seconds of his life in this ending. Doctor found dead. Finally. It's all over. By the time you are reading this, you will find my dead body covered in blood, with my head blown to bits. I know you might think I'm not, or wasn't, okay. normal. I was crippled, stuck in a wheelchair, and that's why I had to die. I was broken, defect, full of emotional problems. My mind was stuck in a never-ending loop of anxiety, depression, and despair. A roller coaster with no end, and I wanted out so bad. This book writing tip was fucking bullshit. It only made me realize mm. how truly fucked my life was. Oof. Ironic. <laughs> how that one person who was actually paid to help me only made it worse. Gave me that one last push, which was needed for me to end myself. <laughs> and now he's dead. <laughs> it's almost poetic. The only person who tried to help me was my only friend, Sophie. Please tell her I'm sorry. I wish her all the best. Please don't show her this mess. This is my conclusion. Hmm. This is my end. Farewell, I everyone. I think it's a pretty interesting ending. I could almost believe that as the true, true ending. It might be like the canon ending, because that's the only one that is considered chapter eight. Called My Life Ends Here. But I guess, yeah, we got the good ending. Where he doesn't do any of that. And just uh, carries on. But yeah, I don't think he's supposed to. He's supposed to give in. Which makes more sense because the whole game we're playing through these crazy nightmares. And that's representing his mind. And eventually he just snaps. Cool. Alright, so that was all the endings. Okay, so that was the total story. So the car at the very beginning, that was real. We actually got hit by a car, ended up in a wheelchair. And your choices in the game, which is actually the book that Simon's writing, determines the actual ending. Does Simon give in to his mental episode and shoot people? Or does he resist? So I got the good ending, I think. Which is cool. I'm happy with that. Overall, excellent game. I was actually blown away by how good this is, considering how old it is. So yeah, that was Cry of Fear. Hope you guys enjoyed the ride. That was a long one. Jeez. It's a, long, it's a longy, but a goodie. Let me know what you've thought of the game and its ending in the comments down below. Hit that like button if you haven't already. And subscribe if you haven't already as well. And I'll hope to see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.